Hey, what's up? This is Grip from Kissing Candice, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another interview. Today is an interview with Mike Grippo from the new band Kissing Candice. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm so glad to have you on the show. Um, and my first question was, uh, of course, you had the new single from uh, Kissing Candice. Um, and you guys have the new album coming up, which is very exciting. Um, besides yeah. that, do you have any other new projects or are you mostly focusing on that right now? Uh, we're mostly focused on putting out music, making music videos and get ready for the album drop for the most part. Um, but I mean, there's, everyone's always writing new music, coming up with new ideas, so there's something always in the works. Right. Awesome. And can you tell us more about the new album? Uh, it's done. It's finished. It's ready to come out. We're just waiting for a time in the world right. for people to put it out. Awesome. That's about it, so. <laughs> but it well, is coming, and I personally think it's our best ever, which is very cliche, I know. But I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, the new single sounded awesome, so this album is very promising. Thank you. For sure. Um, and then, like, what are some of your own favorite bands? Are you mostly into metal, like yourself too, or? Uh, my favorite band is Nine Inch Nails. I, I grew up in a lot of the industrial side of things, like Skinny Puppy, Ministry. But also, I, as I got older, like new metal was like um, Static X was brought up there, like industrial new metal. Oh yes. Um, then I got into like hardcore and metalcore. And like the 2005, 2006 time, I was only going like hardcore metalcore shows, a little bit of deathcore, like Suicide Sounds is first tour. Oh, uh, nice. Stuff like that. Those are all good bands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like the the like early 2000s was such a good time for metal. Like it, oh, it was fantastic. I feel like in those days, it was almost mainstream in a way. It was. The things like Headbangers Ball on MTV2, hosted yeah. by Henry Freed. It's insane. That would never happen now. MTV doesn't even play music anymore now. Never mind, metal videos. Yes. <laughs> and you had people like Fred Durst who were legitimately celebrities, you know? Like, yeah. He's a household name. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy to imagine now. Or the, one, one thing I always uh, think of is like The Punisher, like the movie from 2004. Like that's yeah. a Marvel movie and it had a soundtrack with Drowning Pool and Hate Breed. Yeah, yeah you could like back to a lot of those movies, like Underworld, yes. Revelations, all those. Um, like I remember Underworld had Betrayed on it. They did like a, a special song for it. I think there's Underworld too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the song movies too, the first couple of movies are all metal soundtracks. Yes. Yeah, or like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre soundtrack, like the remake. Man, can you imagine if <laughs> Endgame had a soundtrack like that, a metal soundtrack? <laughs> I would definitely check it out. For sure, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, you you look quite horrifying right now, in a good way. Um, <laughs> so it's it. kind of obvious to say you are a horror movie fan. Uh, yeah, I do like horror movies, but I will admit it's not my favorite genre, but I do love horror. And what's your favorite genre? Uh, psychological thrillers. Definitely my favorite. Oh, nice. Nice. What are some of your favorites then? Oh, uh, like The Sixth Sense is up there. I'm not Shyamalan, basically anything. Memento. Oh, cool. Cool. Classics. <laughs> yeah. Can't go wrong with them. Oh, the sure. game, They're the best for a reason. Reason everyone likes those movies. Yeah. Yeah. What's the guy's name? Um, Michael Douglas. He's, yeah, he's, Michael Douglas. Yeah. He's in a lot of great psychological yeah. thrillers. And then um, here are some like philosophical questions, I guess. Um, if you ruled the world, uh, what would it look like? It would probably look like uh, that's a great question be very peaceful and movie soundtracks would be required to be that metal music in the end. 
<laughs> hey, it sounds like an ideal world to me. <laughs> yeah, world peace and metal. And movies yes. and contracts. And Headbangers Ball back on MTV. Fantastic. I'll, I'll be watching then. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll host it even. Jamie Johnson, you have a lot him coming in. Yes. <laughs> And then uh, if you could change one characteristic about yourself, what would you change? Uh, hmm. I guess I would change. Uh, oh, I would like to have bigger hands. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm a small hands a bass player. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's uh, an... Uh, an original answer. We haven't heard that one before. <laughs> oh, I'm here with the original. My hands are too small to play bass like professionally. <laughs> but I can play. Awesome. But <laughs> and um, when you feel uncertain, like 2020 was a very uncertain time, I feel, and we still kind of live in uncertain times right now. Um, but when you feel uncertain, like what do you do to calm yourself down? Um, listen to music, write, sit around, honestly, like uh, this, I'm taking advantage of it. Like it's a time where I don't have to worry about going on tour all the time. I can just work my job and do side hustles, make money, play the stock market and just really enjoy like, this is the first year I've been home the whole year right. for and, and eight or nine years now. It's always had like six months of touring, eight months of touring in it. So yeah. it's kind of like a vacation. Even though I'm working full time, it's still kind of like a vacation. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> um, and then there's a final question. Where do you hope to see yourself in 10 years? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I hope to have my own marketing firm and to also, for Kissing Can Speaks, for being successful and be on like a Rob Zombie level. And I probably won't need the marketing firm after that. It'll be his hobby. Man, I hope so too. Like, uh, I'll keep on sharing the singles and the album with all of my friends and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will get bigger and bigger every uh, every single month. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. For sure. Is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Uh, let's see. So yeah, the first two singles off our upcoming album are coming out first well the first single is tapeworm which has a really insanely disgusting music video for it yes <laughs> the second one razor also has an insanely disgusting music video for it so be sure to check both those out we have a pretty large back catalog we released an album with victory and album with stay sick records and three EPs on our own i think a bunch of singles so there's plenty of music out there to listen to until the album comes out but it's coming there's no official release date but it'll be out before the end of this year awesome well that's definitely something to look forward to but in the meantime everyone can check out their first album and the new singles i will put the links to the new singles video clips in the description um so if anyone wants to check it out it'll be right there Hey, thank and, you so much for having me, man. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. And to everybody watching, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys yeah. next time. Thanks for checking out. Play rock and roll. Guys. All right. 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 All right.